What is going on everybody? It's your boy John and welcome back to Gearbox. So today we've got the beautiful 2019 WRX out here. Let's just give her a quick little walk around to show off her true beauty. I absolutely love this car. Yes, she's a little bit dirty. Yes, she got a door ding right there. But all in all, this car is awesome. Um, so today what I wanted to talk about is really for you guys who maybe are thinking about getting a WRX and want to modify, or maybe you just bought your WRX and you're sitting there thinking, what are really the best mods that I can do to add joy to driving this platform? Clearly this car is amazing as it is from factory, but there are definitely some things you can do to help better your experience with this platform. There's a bunch of aftermarket potential. It's easy to get lost in the weeds. Um, so I'm here to help you guys tell you my top five mods that I've done to this car that have really made a difference in my opinion. So without further ado, as this plane takes off right there, we're gonna go through top five mods to my WRX. So the first mod that I want to talk about today, and yes, some of you are probably saying, well, John, this is because it's your most recent mod. You're still in the honeymoon phase. Maybe that's true. I don't care. What we're talking about here is going to be the J-pipe and the axle back exhaust. So just in general, we're talking exhaust modifications. Um, so for those who maybe are new to the channel or do not know, I am running a Remark axle back exhaust. Um, so once again, just axle back and then a catted Grimspeed J-pipe. Um, I started off with just the axle back and the Cobb cold air intake. I originally went stage one um, and it was great but really adding that J-pipe gives you, at least in my opinion, gives you the perfect amount of volume and obnoxiousness to drive a turbocharged four banger, uh, but you're not gonna blow your ears out. It's not super drony, uh, but really gives you enough noise to say, this is my car, I modified it. Yes, it is modified. And you know, you're gonna get a horsepower bump uh, as well. I think it is a phenomenal mod, especially the axle back exhaust to just get a little more tone out of your car right off the rip. Um, that's definitely a big one. I think everyone for their first or second modification is either thinking suspension or exhaust or whatever. I personally say go for the exhaust and then from there you'll be able to build upon that, but that's gonna be my number one. For the number two modification on today's list, we are gonna be talking about my Fortune Auto coilovers. And yes, please keep in mind, I did say coilovers and not air suspension. Uh, for those who don't know, I was previously on the Airlift three-piece system on True Heart Struts. Was it fun? Yes, was it my style? Absolutely not. Um, I personally feel that these coilovers will give you a hell of a lot better ride quality, a lot better adjustment from a you know tuning perspective, not just height adjustment. Uh, but overall, I just love the way that this car sits, and I think this shot, and we'll go you know get the shot into the sun as well. I think it's perfect when you go up to get a fitment check. You're about I don't know, a finger, um, and it doesn't rub, doesn't do anything. It just, it rides well. And going on air for me, you know, growing up, watching Fast and Furious, watching all this stuff, I'm like, I wanna go on air. And guys, I know I get a lot of hate on this literally every day. <laughs> I see comments, oh, John, why don't you do this? Why don't you run steel braided airlines? 
I don't care guys. Uh, been there, done that, it's fine. If you want to buy my air suspension setup, feel free. Uh, but coilovers is the way to go. And not only does it make the car look good, obviously, um, but it's just a, it's a dailyable modification to your car. You don't have to worry about the maintenance or anything like that. I mean, yes, there is maintenance, but it's not as cumbersome as your air suspension setup. Um, so that's why I'm gonna throw coilovers at number two. I do not regret that purchase at all. And I would encourage every one of you to probably go ahead and do the same when it comes to suspension. Moving on to number three on the list. It's probably gonna be a controversial one and no, these are not in order. But number three, in my opinion, has to be the lights. And this is going to be an all-encompassing uh, category here. So first off, we're talking about the Subi Speed. I believe they're V2 headlights uh, paired with a fog light kind of DRL uh, sequential turn signal thing right there. And then we go on to the back. And once again, these are going to be the Subi Speed uh, tail lights clear lens, black housing, and of course the red brake light, turn signals, and reverse lights. Um, I might be in the minority here saying this, but I personally feel one of the quickest and easiest ways you can modify your car, truck, whatever, uh, to really make it your own and stand out is going to be from lighting. Um, I bought, or I opted to buy, the base model WRX. Now, the reason I bring that up is that comes with halogens. Halogens suck. I hate halogens. I wish they didn't exist anymore. Um, so I knew right off the bat I was going to be modifying this car. That was going to be an easy fix. So I wanted to switch over to an LED, and I personally think these headlights are, <laughs> they're awesome. Um, the daytime running lights, the sequential turn signals, all of that stuff. And, and that applies for all of the lights we've talked about. I just really think it helps this car stand out and it gives you better visibility at night. So what's not to like? Uh, but like I said, I mean, number three right here has to be lighting hands down. So let's get on to number four. On to number four for the top five mods as a motorcycle goes by here. I wish I could ride a motorcycle. I'd probably kill myself on a motorcycle, but that's why, that's what cars are for, all right? Anyway, before we got interrupted, we're talking about the number four mod on my WRX, and that's going to be the Duckbill. Um, once again, might be a controversial pick, but I absolutely love this thing. And here's the reason why. Um, if you're familiar at all with WRXs, you probably know that from factory, assuming you don't have the STI wing, which a WRX with an STI wing is just, shouldn't be a thing. Hate me if you want to, but shouldn't be a thing. But the base WRX comes with a tiny little, we'll call it a duckbill, it's not, but a little lip spoiler, I guess is a better way to put it. Um, and that's fine. But when it comes to an easy modification to really start to make the styling of your car stand out, I think going with something like this, whether it's carbon fiber or not, I personally love the carbon fiber on here, but regardless, it's just going to give it that more aggressive look without being completely overbearing and ridiculous, you know, like putting a... ARP wing on the back of a stock ass WRX. Like, you do you. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. I personally don't think that that is something that's worth doing. Whereas a duck bill, you're going to have a slightly more aggressive yet tasteful modification in the department of styling and aero on your WRX. And then, of course, you know. You have the side skirts, you have the lip, all of that's great. But I really think that that duck bill out of all of those mods is going to help your car stand out that much more. And it's going to be one of the most worthwhile modifications you can do to your WRX. On to the fifth and final modification we're talking about today. We are hopping in the interior and that is going to be the short throw shifter by Boomba. 
and the Grim Speed weighted shift knob. Um, I will, I'd be interested to hear down in the comments for those who have driven a stock shifter WRX. So probably anyone who has driven a WRX has at least driven a stock shifter. The throw on that thing is so unbelievably long and it is miserable. Put that together with rev hang and the first gear little thing being way too wide and it's just clunky and shitty. That shifter right in there, right there is going to make a world of difference when it comes to especially daily driving your manual transmission WRX. Pair that, I, I personally would suggest pairing that with a pair and shift stop as well to tighten up that first gear. Um, but that is going to make your life so much easier. Now, is it a pain in the ass to install? Yes, if you wanna go through the hassle of doing it, more power to you. If you wanna take it to someone and have them do that, great. Either way, do it. I'm telling you, especially if you are daily driving this car or have any plans to do any track days or whatever, the shift times and just the overall ease of use of rowing through gears is going to be significantly impacted in a good way by going to the Boomba short throw shifter or similar short throw shifters for that matter. So all that being said, that is going to be the number five mod I would do to your WRX. And that is going to do it for another episode of Gearbox. If you have any other significant mods on your top five list, drop them in the comment section down below. I know I definitely missed some, but it's, you know, it's hard to tailor it down and uh, get a top five list together. But if you have any others that you would have added into this list, drop them in the comment section down below. As always, guys, if you like the video, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You know the drill. And until next time, peace. <laughs>